Welcome to Thai Headlines. I'm Jennifer Tan. Thank you for joining us. Staying in Fujian province after delivering supplies to Nanjing on the last two days of 2008, on the first two days of 2009, city volunteers organized a distribution of winter aid for seven townships in Fuding County. The supplies are around for 3,700 families, included rice, oil, daily sundries, cotton quilts, and thermal underwear. Siji has been helping the rural township of Xiamen, not to be confused with Xiamen City, ever since Typhoon Herb struck in 1996. Volunteers have built up a close relationship with local villagers. Morning at Xiamen Township in Fuding. The temperature is only 5 degrees above freezing, but the hearts of the villagers are warm because volunteers are handing out tray after tray of ginger tea to keep away the chill. Chairs are even brought out for the elderly, along with a quick manicure, which brings a smile to the old people's faces. Today I'm happy. I'm in my 80s and I've never seen anything like this before. Back in 1996, Siji held a distribution in Xiamen. That was in the aftermath of Typhoon Herb, which hit the area very hard, much to the distress of volunteers who have been back every year since then. When they come to pick up their aid, villagers are always wearing thick Siji jackets, some blue, some black, all different styles, but villagers regard them as treasured possessions. I love wearing this jacket. You can get such nice clothes anywhere. Including Xiamen, Siji distributed aid to seven townships in Fudian County of China's Fujian province. 3,700 households of 79 villages received aid, which is down on previous years. But the volunteers keep increasing. Picking up bags of rice, Fuding Hospital Superintendent Li Guixin is one of the more than 110 hospital volunteers here. Over 80 were allocated to us and 140 applied. If we opened it up, even more people would come. It's like that every year. Taiwan's team especially came to help. Doctors on both sides of the strait want to give the best medical care to villagers. For those who are too ill to collect supplies, they were home visits. The man of the house wrecked his health by taking inappropriate medication to treat an ailment. This is a blessing from the whole world. A lot of love is inside. It's for Chinese New Year. The distribution started at 9 o'clock, but Zheng Chunyan and his wife were here at 7. There is a heartfelt reunion with volunteers. Five years ago, Zheng turned up at the distribution site with a urine bag to pick up supplies and ended up being taken to hospital by volunteers to treat an ailment that had plagued him for a dozen years. I had a catheter for five years. It was you who took me for an operation and looked after me in hospital for 23 days. You saved my life. I'm very grateful. Thank you. Still supported by the stick that a Siji volunteer bought for him during surgery, even the clothes on Zheng's back are from Siji. Like Confucius says, it is joyful to have friends from far away. Delighted Mr. Zheng invites the volunteers into his simple home. Thankfully, the city quilt on the bed keeps the 89-year-old warm. But what makes the elderly farmer happiest is that he can now work in the fields every day and carry produce to the market. I'm just old. My health is still good. Thank goodness you cured him. It would have been very tiring to take care of him. The small amount of money earned from selling vegetables is enough to sustain the couple, but the 14 renminbi bus ticket to see his old friends and fooding is beyond his means. Understanding what's on the old man's mind, the volunteers promise to come back to try his homegrown vegetables. Resources may be limited, but love is without measure.